Think white bread is harmless? What if I told you that this everyday staple could be silently wreaking havoc on your health, from spiking your blood sugar to fueling chronic diseases? Before you take another bite, let's uncover the hidden dangers of white bread that the food industry doesn't want you to know. White bread, though widely consumed, offers little in the way of real nutrition. The refining process strips away essential components like fiber, vitamins, and minerals, leaving behind a product that provides little more than empty calories. Without the nutrients found in whole grain alternatives, white bread fails to contribute meaningfully to your diet. In fact, it can even leave you feeling hungry soon after consumption, encouraging overeating and a cycle of poor dietary choices. The lack of fiber also slows digestion, leading to less satisfaction from meals and quicker hunger, further complicating efforts to maintain a balanced and healthy diet. Many people don't realize that sugar is often added to white bread during the production process. While white bread might not taste particularly sweet, it still contains sugars, which can vary depending on the brand and recipe. Nishi, on average, a single slice of white bread contains around 1 to 2 grams of sugar. While this may not seem like much at first glance, it adds up quickly, especially if bread is a staple in your daily diet. One of the most concerning effects of white bread is its impact on blood sugar. White bread is known for having a high glycemic index, meaning it causes a rapid spike in blood glucose levels. When you eat it, your body quickly absorbs the simple carbohydrates, leading to a fast surge in energy. However, this energy boost is short-lived and soon followed by a crash. Over time, regular consumption of white bread can contribute to insulin resistance, a key factor in the development of type 2 diabetes. The body's struggle to manage these blood sugar fluctuations can lead to more serious metabolic complications if left unchecked. As a result of its low satiety and the frequent blood sugar crashes it causes, white bread is also linked to weight gain. The quick digestion of refined carbs found in white bread leads to frequent hunger pangs, making it easy to consume more calories than needed throughout the day. This overeating, combined with the lack of nutritional value, contributes to fat accumulation, especially around the abdomen. Given that white bread is a staple in many households, it plays a role in the broader issue of obesity, which is a growing health crisis worldwide. The ease with which white bread adds extra, unnecessary calories to the diet makes it a particularly dangerous culprit in the struggle to maintain a healthy weight. It can also contribute to inflammation in the body, which plays a key role in the development of chronic diseases. Over time, chronic inflammation becomes a breeding ground for conditions like heart disease, arthritis, and even certain cancers. White bread, lacking in antioxidants and other protective nutrients, offers little defense against this inflammatory process. Another often overlooked concern with white bread is the presence of additives and chemicals. Many commercial breads are packed with preservatives to extend their shelf life, emulsifiers to improve texture, and bleaching agents to give the bread its appealing white color. These chemicals may help create a more visually appealing product, but their effects on human health are concerning. Some preservatives have been linked to digestive issues and allergic reactions, while certain bleaching agents have raised questions about their potential toxicity. White bread contains gluten, a protein that gives bread its structure and chewiness. For many, gluten is harmless, but for others, it can cause digestive distress. Those with celiac disease experience a severe autoimmune reaction when consuming gluten, leading to damage in the small intestine. Even individuals without celiac disease may experience gluten sensitivity, which can result in bloating, gas, and discomfort after eating white bread. Beyond the gluten issue, white bread can negatively impact digestive health in other ways. Its refined nature means it lacks the fiber essential for proper digestion. Fiber is critical for maintaining a healthy gut, as it helps regulate bowel movements, promotes the growth of beneficial gut bacteria, and keeps you feeling full for longer. Without it, digestion can slow down, leading to issues like constipation, irregular bowel movements, and bloating. Over time, a lack of fiber in the diet can contribute to more serious digestive problems, including an imbalanced gut microbiome, which is linked to a host of other health issues such as weakened immune function and even mental health challenges. Another major concern is the role that white bread plays in childhood obesity. 
The refined carbohydrates in white bread are quickly broken down into sugars, which, when consumed in excess, are stored as fat. Obesity in childhood not only has immediate health consequences, such as an increased risk of high blood pressure and cholesterol, but it also sets the stage for long-term health issues, including heart disease, diabetes, and joint problems. Early eating habits have a lasting effect on a child's health. When children are exposed to refined carbohydrates, like white bread, at a young age, it can shape their taste preferences and cravings for sugary, processed foods. This makes it harder for them to transition to a healthier diet as they get older, increasing the likelihood of developing chronic diseases. Encouraging children to choose whole grain bread instead of white bread can help instill better eating habits early on, giving them a stronger foundation for long-term health. White bread alternatives. Whole grain bread. Whole grain bread is one of the best alternatives to white bread. It is made from flour that contains the entire grain kernel, including the bran, germ, and endosperm. This means that it's packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals that are stripped away during the refining process of white bread. The high fiber content helps with digestion and keeps you feeling fuller for longer, which can help prevent overeating. Whole grain bread also has a lower glycemic index than white bread, meaning it won't cause rapid spikes and crashes in blood sugar levels. Multigrain bread. Multigrain bread is made from a variety of grains, such as oats, barley, and flaxseed, in addition to wheat. Each grain adds its unique set of nutrients, such as healthy fats, fiber, and antioxidants, making multigrain bread a more nutritious choice than white bread. However, it's essential to look for whole grain multigrain options, as some brands may use refined grains, which are no better than white bread. Sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is another excellent alternative, particularly because of the fermentation process used to make it. This process not only gives sourdough its distinctive flavor, but also makes it easier to digest and lowers its glycemic index. The fermentation process breaks down some of the gluten and phytic acid, which can make sourdough a better choice for people with mild gluten sensitivities or those who have trouble digesting other types of bread. It also has a rich nutrient profile and can provide probiotics, beneficial for gut health. Gluten-free bread options. For those with celiac disease or gluten intolerance, there are several gluten-free bread options available. Many gluten-free breads are made from nutrient-dense flours like almond, coconut, or yum, or quinoa, which provide healthier fats, proteins, and fiber compared to refined wheat flour. However, it's essential to choose gluten-free bread made with whole food ingredients rather than those filled with highly processed starches and additives that can mimic the effects of white bread. Several studies have explored the benefits of eliminating white bread and other refined carbohydrates from the diet, showing that doing so can significantly improve various health markers. A study published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition found that individuals who replaced white bread and other refined grains with whole grains experienced greater weight loss and improvements in metabolism. The high fiber content in whole grains helps with satiety, reducing overall caloric intake. The study also highlighted that participants who consumed whole grains had a reduction in body fat, particularly around the abdominal area, where fat is most associated with chronic health conditions like heart disease and diabetes. Another study in the Journal of the American Medical Association, JAMA, focused on the relationship between refined carbohydrates, such as white bread, and the development of insulin resistance, a precursor to type 2 diabetes. The study showed that participants who reduced or eliminated white bread from their diets had lower fasting blood sugar levels and improved insulin sensitivity. This change significantly reduced their risk of developing type 2 diabetes over time. So, to recap, we've explored the concerns surrounding white bread, the ingredients and process behind it, and the shocking health risks associated with its consumption. You can also check out my other video that talks about what instant noodles really do to your body. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences below in the comments below and like this video. Remember to turn on the notification bell.